this one. Back to this thing. This is your guide to love and aestheticism. Instead of keeping everything for yourself and being selfish, instead, sharing. By the way, it's kind of interesting. Some do compare some of these to the original Ten Commandments, so there's an interesting relationship there. They're not the same. Um, this is also where we get um, love your neighbor as yourself. Notice that's not part of the Ten Commandments, but it is part of Jesus' view. So the core of Christianity, whether you believe he was divine or not, was love is the core, and you should love others and care for them. Now, was Jesus divine? Was he uh, in his own point of view? We certainly hear uh, that he says he is the son of the father, and by father he means Abba. Uh, uh, by the way, one of the stories uh, is that Pilate uh, doesn't want to kill this man. Uh, but, and by the way, it happens to be a feast day where the Romans typically offer up an individual who uh, uh, could be released on that day. Uh, and so uh, Pilate has uh, Jesus on one side and Bar Abbas on the other side and asked the crowd, who should I release to you, Barabbas, who's a bad uh, robber, uh, rapist maybe, uh, or Jesus and the crowd have been paid by the Pharisees to chant for Barabbas. You heard this story? In any case, uh, what's interesting about the story is Barabbas means son of the father, which was actually Jesus's title by a lot of people. So. So that's one of the arguments that that story didn't really happen. And by the way, there is no such feast day where the Romans would release a prisoner. In fact, the only way Romans usually released anybody was on the cross. Uh, that's, that was more their style, right? Um, in fact, Pilate ended up being fired by uh, you know, the emperor uh, because he crucified 10,000 Jews all along both sides of the road to Damascus from Jerusalem. You can imagine that. I don't know if you ever saw uh, the movie Spartacus. And, uh, saying, Who's Spartacus? I'm Spartacus. Oh, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Sp Have you ever seen that? Uh, thing? That was a Roman punishment. Um, in any case, uh, um, An another interesting story that uh, seems unbelievable was uh, that, remember, he was born in the cave in Bethlehem, and three of the magi, uh, three kings from the, from the uh, east, were looking uh, for him. They had heard uh, of his uh, future birth, and they saw a star in the heavens, and they followed the star to Bethlehem. Well, the trouble was they referred to the star as being in the east. So if they were coming from the east and the star was in the east, they went the wrong way. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, how can you explain it? Well, if the person who wrote the story was much further west, all of that stuff was still happening in the east. So the star was in the east from that perspective. Uh, so it seems to be a, a story that was added afterwards by an author who was in the West. Um, but what was the significant event? Was he divine? What did he do? What made him uh, so significant that a religion is essentially based on him? Well, talk about that when we see St. Augustine. And so what should we read with St. Augustine? Now, there's lots of famous uh, stuff written by St. Augustine. There's his confessions, which you can
can find easily the Confessions of St. Augustine, which is biographical about St. Augustine. We also have his book, The City of God, which is actually The City of God and The City of Men, but The City of God is what you usually find it under. It's a huge political uh, um, book that explains what kind of city a Christian city would be. And yet at the same time, what kind of city do you actually end up with, usually? Um, and the reason, uh, primary reason for this is as St. Augustine is writing this book, the Roman Empire is under attack by the Vandals, who are uh, one of the first waves of those who are going to transform the empire. Um, and the Vandals um, are winning. And the concern with many of the Romans are, is, uh, that Christianity is one of the reasons why uh, the Vandals are winning. Because they don't think Christians want to fight uh, for their empire. Remember uh, when we talked about Gibbon's um, book, uh, The Decline and Fall? of the Roman Empire, um, that his argument in the main three, the three volumes is that it was becoming Christian is what under, under uh, uh, you know, ruined uh, the Roman Empire. So there's that same theme there. Um, by the way, this is kind of interesting too. so far that's a that movie came out like just prior to President Bush uh, attacking in the Middle East with a, you know all the different allies and so on so and it was a European made movie by the way so it seemed to have a political point actually. Fun? Everybody enjoying class? Not driving anybody crazy? Thank you. Thank you.